Thanks to our friends at The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash ASYM for the top 10 stocks to buy right now. One of the stocks that I've gotten really intrigued by recently is On Holdings. This is really at its core a running shoe company, but moving into the fitness space, kind of a miniature Lululemon or Nike. I think that's kind of the vision for this company. So I wanted to compare the company's metrics to an industry leader like Nike. Let's see where On Holding stands up. And if you're an investor, should this be the kind of company that you're looking into or should you just stick with the market leader like Nike? That's what I wanna dig into today. My name's Travis William. Thanks for watching Asymmetric Investing. Please subscribe here on YouTube and check out my newsletter, Asymmetric Investing, for opportunities like On Holding that have a lot of upside. I wanna start with a few charts. This is On Holdings revenue compared to Nike. So. The purple line is on holdings revenue, $1.5 billion in revenue. Nike, obviously a much, much bigger company generating over $50 billion in revenue. But look at the quarterly growth. Nike's growth is in this green line, about 14% growth. That's really great growth for a company that's size of Nike. But on holding is growing much, much faster in excess of 75%. That's a rate of growth that's not gonna be sustainable forever. But if the company can sustain that kind of growth, for the next few years, this will be a great investment. Now, if we look at gross profit, so how much of each dollar of spending can a company turn into a profit? Basically, when you spend, let's say $100 on a pair of shoes, how much of that money went into building the pair of shoes? Well, for Nike, over 50% is actually the cost of the shoe itself. So their gross profit is gonna be 43% over the past year on holding, able to charge maybe a little bit higher prices, their margin is 58%. So a bigger percentage of each dollar of sales is actually a profit. The challenge for a growing company like On Holding is that typically you don't have a lot of cash from operations or operating income. I chose cash from operations here to just show how much cash is actually being generated by the business. Nike is generating significant cash on the order of about $5 billion a year in cash. On holding is still burning cash from operations. There are a lot of reasons for that. Increasing product development spending, increasing inventory, increasing marketing costs. There are a lot of costs that go into growing a company. So it's not necessarily surprising that cash from operations is negative, but really notable when you're comparing these two companies, because if your risk tolerance is a little bit lower, you may want to lean towards Nike from this perspective. And here's the other thing, net income and price to earnings ratio are the numbers here. In purple, you have on holdings net income. The company is profitable on a net income basis. So that is really notable, but obviously Nike is far more profitable and price to earnings ratio for on holding is almost a hundred. Whereas the price to earnings ratio for Nike is a little over 30. So Nike is clearly a much better value from an investment standpoint, but on holding is really the growth stock here. And that's what I'm really intrigued by because one of the things that we've seen over time is that companies can, that can grow at extremely rapid rates are typically great investments. The question is going to be how long can you grow in excess of 50, 60, 70%? For on holding, I think this is still a relatively small business. These products have just become popular, especially in the US. This is a Swiss company. So a lot of growth markets that they could enter. And that profit margin is really high. This business may never be as big as Nike, and that's okay. But if it can generate a really high profit margin, this could be a phenomenal business. So the answer to the question is on holding or is Nike the better buy? I'm a little bit of a higher risk investor. So I think on holding is really attractive. I love that growth rate, love the margins. I want to see profitability improve, but that will happen over time. But if you're a lower risk investor, Nike is absolutely a phenomenal company. Still expensive at 30 times earnings, but the growth rate is still really strong. So it's a little bit of a non-answer from me today, but really depends on your risk profile. For me, I think On Holdings looks really great. Not a stock that I have added yet, but is absolutely on my short list. Which stock do you prefer? Leave your comments in the comments section below. Don't forget to follow Asymmetric Investing. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you here next time.